background, I'm going to take a look at Michael Harding's Vermilion paint. It's such a gorgeous colour. It's one of the most expensive. It's Series 7 because the pigment is difficult to acquire. But it's just such a beautiful red. I thought, to begin with, to give you an idea of the character of the red, it might help to, helpful to show it next to a more familiar red. So here is Cadmium Red Light, an orangey cad red, beside the vermilion, so that you can see the soft brown nature of the vermilion as opposed to the cad red light. So sort of like for like comparison. I'm going to just start with some lead white. I'm going to use the more traditional colours in combination with this vermilion because it's a softer, older pigment. So I could put the modern dye pigments with it, but it feels like a bit of a mismatch. It feels like this one likes more of the kind of old masters pigments, really. It seems to suit them better. There's a subtlety about it that gets lost if I combine it with modern dye pigments, I think. So with Kremnitz white, you can see the gentle, warm effect of the white sits really nicely with the warmth of the vermilion. The two just complement one another beautifully and you end up with these lovely rosy brownish reds. If I just put a bit with that cadmium red, you can see the fiery nature of the cad red overpowers the white much more easily. So you can see the soft subtlety of the vermilion and the more brown nature of it. If we try it moving towards a purple, let's try some cobalt blue. Again, not such a great tint power, so it won't, won't knock all the character out of the vermilion so much. It's going to make a really nice aubergine, burnt sort of purple, mauve colour. Reminiscent of a manganese violet, but browner. Trying to neutralise it towards a, a brown or a grey, Let's see what happens with Viridian. Again, a soft, deep, this is a blue-green, really blue-green. Gorgeous colour again. I should do a little mixing video on that, shouldn't I? It's lovely green. I want to do one on everything. They're all nice. This goes to a lovely neutral sort of brown. In fact, it's a red-brown at this point, but I think with more of the Viridian, it makes quite a neutral brown. Again though, it's got a sort of purpley, velvety colour to it. To find an orange, I'm going to try it with Naples Yellow Light. I love these two together for portrait work. Really traditional mix, proper old masters mix. Both expensive, but worth it. <laughs> they are so subtle and beautiful together, there's a buttery quality to them. making some really nice warm oranges, but really burnt soft oranges. Another one, let's try out of shot here, some lead tin yellow lemon. Another really lovely buttery smooth. This is much smoother. The Naples yellow has that slightly crunchy texture to it. Um, this one is more buttery and actually makes a really natural flesh tone. You can see it next to my hand. It's just wants to be used for figure work. So Vermilion is just beautiful. It's a rich orangey red but soft, deep, velvety. I really, really enjoy working with it and it's a special treat. Mm. I hope that was a treat for you. <laughs>